What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Today's Wednesday. <clears throat> what does that mean? <laughs> you guys get what you asked for. Wes Watson Wednesdays. Look, there's look, there's so many people that have been like Wes Watson Wednesdays coming up, this and that. Um, and you guys really enjoy this stuff. There's some that say, you know, oh, you're living off West, this and that. Hey, just skip this one today, big dog. We'll be back to what you like tomorrow. Now, did I delete it? Let me see, because you guys asked that I play something. An audio. Let me see. Did I delete it? I may have deleted it. If I did, let's go. Let's see if I if I still have it over here. Um. So there, I had an audio of Wes Watson. I actually made it into a short. I was gonna I was gonna put it out there, and then I just decided, nah. I I don't think that's gonna be. It could be all bad, but you guys wanted to hear it. This is an actual call from Wes Watson with two of his um. The people that pay for his program. This is the Wes Watson that those of you that hate on me, this is the Wes Watson you adore. This thing has calories, you fucking idiot. There, there's calories and protein. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Is there, are you brain dead? Dude, don't call it fasting then. That's the, that's the deal. It's not called. It's not called fasting. You fucking idiot. I'm saying fast. And who the fuck told you to be Pablo? <laughs> it goes on. It goes. Look, it goes on and on. Eh? Who the fuck told you to speak Pablo? <laughs> oh man. Eh? So there he is. That's that's our first laugh at uh with. Let's not laugh at. Let's laugh with. Wes Watson. But before I move on, Pablo, next time you want to speak, Pablo, think about it. And maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time, Pablo. Let's get into it. Today's video that we're going to react to of Wes Watson, the great, is called Prison Gangs. They're all called Prison Gangs, right? And then it's How to Be a Shot Caller. Before I get into this video, now let's remember what Wes Watson has said in the past. Uh, as far as videos that we've watched, right? He said that the guys that get the, the, the keys, the guys that get to be the shot caller are usually on drugs. Um, they, they, they head for a wreck because they don't work out. They're just dope fiends and all that. That's what he said in the videos we've re 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 reviewed, what the fuck reviewed and reacted to. So let's see, cause you know, Wes never changes his stories and this is an old video. I don't know how old it is, but let's get to it and see, does he stick to it? <laughs> Shock collar. Oh, shit. What's a shock collar? We refer to a shock collar as the person who has the yard, the block, they got the keys. This is a person who's got the spot, they got the building. Um the guy that has the building and the block, he said it two different ways. It's the same thing, the building and the block. He he's forgetting to say his dorm. But um that's not a shock collar. Um, as far as the Raza from Southern California, the Bloquero is n never one of the shot callers. Um, he's just somebody that that we ask if he'll look out for the block. A lot of times, anybody who's really been around, they don't want to be a Bloquero. The fuck they want to be a Bloquero for? You got to deal with all the crybabies around you. You got There's vatos, they don't get along in their cell. Homie, go figure that out. Don't bring it to us. We, that shit, we don't even want to hear about that shit. That, the, blo the bloquero is usually somebody who um, wants to be somebody. And when you give them a block, they think they're somebody. But 
they just have headaches, right? Um, there's a chain of command. And, and the, the, the guys, the meseros or llaveros before, they don't give a fuck about what's going on in the building. That's why they assign you. You take care of it. If you got to bring something from your building to me, or you got to bring something from your building to put on the mesa for us to decide, um, it better be serious. If it's petty, then you, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, back away, <laughs> rescind your uh, little position, and we'll find someone else. But I just wanted to clarify that the, the guy that has a building is not a shot caller. But let's go. This is the person calling the shots for that race. Every race has someone calling their shots, making sure that their people are in line. A shot caller <clears throat> is going to have great foresight. He's going to be able to what? see issues before they arise. Whoa. Shot caller is not always a bad person or some dipshit motherfucker. A lot of the times the what? power gets handed off between homeboys of somebody who has institutional sophistication. Oh, my God. But this is completely opposite of what you said in the past. Are you flexing right now while I'm talking? Are you flexing, fool? Oh, fuck. I think, I, I, I think we're having a staring contest. This Vato don't blink. Anyways, yeah, no, this is different than what you've said in the past, player. Like, uh, he must have woke up in a good mood today. Huh. This is, this is interesting. When someone has institutional sophistication and they can see the routes because they've been in prison for so long, Holy shit. they're an asset. They become the shot caller, have the keys, but mainly their people hand it down to them. Someone would hand it over to you. So I've had people hand me the block. Whenever I get in there, they're like, oh, you're next up, big dog. I'm going to hand this shit to you because I know what's up. I just see different shit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as he gets there, he just, hey, I'm going to hand it off to you, big dog. I mean, I'm probably, probably going to be here another five years. But you know what? In five years and one day, big dog, you're going to run this door, man. For real, bro. And I know you're going to do a fine job. Wait, wait, you get out in four? Oh, fuck. Eh? What do we do? Let me go and talk to the other shot callers and see if you can have the block in three years. <laughs> like i said one of my favorite quotes talent hits a target nobody else can hit genius hits a target nobody else can see i would see shit these motherfuckers couldn't see in their lifetime i mean fools killing themselves to bring in dope through these visits killing themselves literally killing themselves and getting their people cracked to bring this dope in putting it in an m and m bag and colored wrappers <sighs> colored balloons in a visit and then they're swallowing this shit and sometimes they're busting open because people are just even though the stuff is played out like i don't see why he does it. and th these are stories that he's heard but i'm wondering is does he have like homing pigeons how is he gonna get his dope because he sees things no one had no I, he can't have homing pigeons because i just thought of it he sees things that nobody sees he sees dead people the sixth sense was about him? Holy shit. The sixth sense was about you, big dog? This motherfucker is amazing. That's dumb. They're not rapping it enough times. Finally, after many times of shit fucking up, one time especially when we were at Delano and the homeboy had someone fly out from Arizona with the best white and black... He ends up fucking, he ends up swallowing one in the visiting room and choking on it. It was too big. He's choking on this shit in the visiting room. There's CO's in there like, what the fuck is happening? He gets up and runs out. He runs out and he runs into the building and he runs right back to my. Ah, uh, I think I reacted to this. Hold on, eh? hold on. So, so. <laughs> Uh, he jumped up from visiting, which is a secured environment, right? A secured building, secured area. 
the CEO would see him choking. He ran through the door like Kool-Aid, just broke the whole shit down, the door, the wall, everything. And now he's in Wes's dorm. Oh, fuck, yeah, I think I reacted to this one. But let's do it again. This shit is hilarious. And runs out. He runs out and he runs into the building and he runs right back to my rack and my cell, me and my bunker like, fuck you. He's in the door. You hear that? He, oh damn, I didn't mean to stop it on that, on your face like that, Wes. So he ran through the door. Apparently they, they visiting has no door where, where he was always oh, Delano. Everybody that's been in Delano, <laughs> go ahead and get in the comments and let's talk about the visiting room over there. Every visiting room I've been in, um, you cannot get in and out. There's a slider that lets you in and out, you know, um, and they usually have to radio in a hey, open, the, open the slider or open the door, whatever it is. They let us out. But uh, according to this, the, uh, maybe the guy had his own keys to it and his own walkie talk. Maybe it was a CEO. <laughs> But now he's ran into the building. And um, you see how he can watch his face when he's, he's like, he ran, he ran to my bunk and, and my, my son, watch his face. The building and he runs right back to my rack and my cell, me and my bunk are like, fuck are you doing? Don't fucking come running back in here, motherfucker. Straight up. You're done if they come fucking hitting the spot. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, he's not choking anymore. Wait, 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 wait. So he was choking until you yelled at him. What? This story is fucking believable. I, now that I think more about it, it's, I believe this shit. That fucking mole on his back. Somebody in the comments said it made it left a great comment. And they were like, hey, uh, they say that that mole on his back, that mole be talking behind his back. <laughs> That's like the office comedy, but I like it. You're done if they come fucking hitting the spot. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, that shit's bitch shit. Just drop the dime on us straight up. Straight up drop the dime on us. My bunky was already riding dirty. We had horns. We had all the white, all the black, all that shit. That's just how it is in the pen. Everybody's holding. <laughs> if you roll in, I'm making sure you're holding. You're holding something for your race. That's it. There's no way around it. You're in a fucking gang now. You don't get a choice. What gang is he in? What gang is he in? Wes, you're not in a gang. You've never been in a gang. Your bunkie was... Come on, big dog. Your bunkie didn't have nothing. Your bunkie was probably holding your dick. Um, sorry, bunkie, whoever you are. Fake bunkie. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hold something! <laughs> Everybody's got to hold something. You're in a fucking dorm, player. Like, you there? They have all the phones and all the white and all the black. Well, what you got, dummy, over there, fucking choking on balloons for until you yell, yell at them, yell at them. What the fuck? I don't know how to talk anymore. That's it. You're signed up. Oh. So he runs back and he's like, "Fuck! I choked on that shit." He gets in the shower and luckily, my bunkie at the time's a sweetheart. And he goes in the shower with the... He definitely was holding your dick. ...and starts trying to get him to help him out and fucking like squeezing on his chest, trying to get him to not choke on his dope and straight up have it bust and kill him. Let's go back for a second. Fuck, I choked on his shit. He gets in the shower. He, he... So let's go back a little more. The guy was choking and visiting. <laughs> he made it all the way to your bunk. And then he says, what do he say? What the hell? Or some shit. And then he's talking, and but he's choking, and he's the Heimlich in the shower. <laughs> he had to take all his clothes off first, so they make sure they Heimlich him right. <laughs> all the back, all that shit. That's just how it is in the pen. Everybody's holding. If you roll in, I'm making sure you're holding. Everybody's you're holding. holding. something for your race. That's it. There's no way around it. You're in a fucking gang now. Fucking you don't get a now. choice. None. That's it. You're signed up. So he runs back and he's like, fuck, I choked on that shit. He gets in. He's talking to you. That's like when, when, when you see, when you see guys getting arrested and the hudas jump on them and they say they can't breathe. 
and they say it like 50 times in a row. I'm like, damn, that's that's a long ass breath he's holding then because he said like 50 fucking things. Anyways. In the shower, and luckily my bunkie at the time's a sweetheart and he goes in the shower with the fool and starts trying to get him to help him out and fucking like squeezing on his chest trying to get him to not choke on his dope and straight up have it bust and kill his ass. <sighs> Finally, he just fucking ends up getting that one out and then they, they save it. And then he ends up fucking later shitting out the other three. He had like. Didn't he say he choked on the first one? And. Where in the fuck are the COs during all this? He ran out of visiting. He never stripped out. Busted through the door. Ran into the dorm. He did some bitch shit, you said. It was a, it was a bitch move. He's a bitch. We get it. Now you guys are naked doing the Heimlich. He's talking while you're doing the Heimlich. He's probably saying, hey, big dog, I, it's, it's, it's in my hand. Like, why, why, is, why are your things on my things? <laughs> <laughs> and the CEOs are like, no worries. This the fucking stories this Vato tell. Hey, what does he got? Probably like 72 million fucking views on this lie. Ching, oh man, this motherfucker. Where did I, I, I wasn't gonna give him a clap. I, I missed the button. <sighs> We're only three minutes and 27 seconds in. <sighs> five bindles, five fucking clavos that he swallowed, and they were all about an eighth. And then finally, all three come out. One came out the first, he had one left. Now he's tripping. It's 10 days later. This shit hasn't came out. And one of the chick CEOs that was in the visiting room has been on him all week. The fuck was that? I know you got dope. I seen you run out the visiting room. Oh, hold on. She saw him run out the visiting room. She knows he has dope. But potty watch? Nah. In, 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 in real life, they don't use potty watch. The CEO just knows... But they don't use potty watch. Delano dorm, guys. You can walk in and out of visiting. You know how much dope would be there if that was true? But hey, let's, you know, hey. Motherfucking, the West Knights are going to be on me for this one, man. So, calm down, you guys. Don't be fucking laughing at this guy. Fucking, the guy's the real deal. Look at, he's pointing at something. <laughs> Never mind. Been on him all week. The fuck was that? I know you got dope. I seen you run out the visiting room. Fuck were you choking on? She's calling him out. She's waiting for it to drop. She's waiting for him to slip and they're gonna come crack everybody. This is how they do it. It's a fishbowl. We're sitting here. It's a 180 setup at, at Delano at this spot, a level two, but it's a... <sighs> I remember this one. I did react to this. I think I have, I'm having more fun this time. It's a level two 180 design dorm. Oh, a level two 180 design dorm. And again, this is what the cops do. They wait around. Man, why are my fucking neighbors are going to fucking get mad at me? Eh? How come I don't have neighbors like Wes? Wes owns the building. He owns everything. Ah, oh, fuck it. I got to get my money up. A, B, and C section, five, six, seven building, and everything's against one wall. It's so not all a 180. The are against this wall, and here's the tower, just looking directly at us on film all day. It doesn't take a genius for them to. But but the guy ran up to your rack, ran into the building and to your rack. Not your cell, your rack. Now you're in a cell. One wall, one light. That's not a 180. And he, anyways. Figure out what the fuck's going on. So you're just sitting there, a sitting duck. And, and that's why we have fall men. Because motherfuckers are getting cracked. Fall you're men. getting cracked. That's it. You're, you're, a lot of people are just meant to take the fall. So he ends up tripping that it's in his stomach. What? One night we smoke a joint and he's sitting on the toilet, the homeboy Moody, and he's just gnawing his fingers away. Uh, and I look over and I'm, I tap my bunkie. I'm like, hey, Tony, look at that motherfucker. Look at Moody. And he's just gnawing his fingertips. 
So in this dorm cell, 180, level two, seven, you're sitting on your bunk and you're watching dudes <laughs> have the toilet. <laughs> What? In a 180, you, you, or even in sales, you can't see anybody on their toilet in a 180. You can't see in anybody's cell, you dumb fuck. But this is pretty realistic. Eh? This is pretty much how prison is in California. This is why these guys, no disrespect to anybody out of state. But this is why they don't have any idea of how California is, because they got this... <laughs> this superhero right here gang member shot caller they got this guy who doesn't know anything about California prisons either <laughs> it's a way where I fucks up with this dude oh, he's shit. tripping cause he thinks that shit busted open he's starting to feel weird after he smoked the weed he thinks he's about to die plenty of people lose their minds Swallowing clavos of white in there and die swallowing clavos of black. Swallowing a bindle at a visit. The balloons fill with dope that they swallow to get in and then they fucking bust open. Motherfucker straight dies in front of you. Straight dead. So he's tripping. He's all high as fuck. After this whole fucking bullshit, all the powers that be, all the motherfuckers who have each block and the dude who have the yard sit down and some genius, I'm not going to name names, says, wait. What? Sit down. And some genius, I'm not gonna name names. Since when? You y'all you don't you didn't you didn't prepare for this one. Go ahead, I'll give you a minute. You hear the gardeners? You got is that enough time? You're gonna say the name? Let's go backwards. The dude who have the yard sit down and some genius, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna name names. Still? Says, wait, who's the fucking porter in the visit? Who's the fucking porter? What race is he? Let's buy him. So that porter gets bought. That porter gets bought. He knows that there's gonna be in a Hot Pockets wrapper some dope. It's getting thrown in the fucking trash. Fuck swallowing it. Why risk it? Throw it in the fucking trash. Cops aren't looking. You're gonna just, he's gonna. How many Hot Pockets do you think were bought that day visiting? Let's not even talk about that one, right? So there's 15, let's say 15 Hot Pocket rappers in there. <clears throat> the cameras are on in visiting, even when the visitors leave. And the porter in visiting is going to dig through the trash. Nobody's ever going to see that. And he's going to have to go through every Hot Pocket rapper yeah you guys came up with a, a fucking brilliant plan I, I mean the guy probably got busted the first time but hey shit you guys all the fucking guys that had the block and the shot caller that cussed out who's the fuck is this guy and that yeah you guys i mean you came up with a plan it just was a shit plan but i hear you swoop it out the trash later and then just hoop it in his free time he's just gonna keister that shit in his free time free this time. is way better this is the vision that motherfuckers come in with instead of just running with that dumbass route of i'm gonna swallow these m&ms in front of the fucking cops right now and risk dying and risk getting my people busted this other way your people aren't getting busted they're just throwing in the trash but the thing is is these guys are fucking smart too there's a lot of smart people in prison a lot of smart criminals until they change their view, their views will never change. Change your... Whoa, that was deep. <laughs> hey, listen, did you guys catch what he... Did you pick up what he was putting down? This is the deepest shit ever. Listen. These guys are fucking smart too. There's a lot of smart people in prison. A lot of smart criminals. Until they change their view, their views will never change. Okay. Until they change their views, their views will never change. Boom. Explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, he said it with a straight face. Can we watch that one more time? Smart criminals. Until they change their view, their mm. views will never change. Boom. Change your view from that negative shit that you think's gonna pan out in your life and turn it into something positive. Yeah. All I did 
was lived by the fucking rules and the laws, the universal laws I preach on my channel. Oh. And I went from uh -huh. someone with, it, with institutional sophistication to someone living a massively good, healthy life that helps exponential amounts of people. You want me to play the video again? How you help people? Who the fuck told you to speak, Pablo? It works though. It works for your pockets. I don't think Pablo enjoyed it. And the other guy, like if I showed you the guy, the guy looks like he's going to cry. He, the guy has no muscle at, at all on his body. He's not overweight at all. He's a regular guy, probably a great guy with some self-esteem issues. And a bully like this sees him as a dollar sign. That's what it is. But this story is so fucking believable that I'm, I'm hooked. Let's get more into it. This is what we're after in this life. This is what we're after. Man, that life that. is pain. Everybody Man, thinks it's cool. I thought it was fucking cool. Oh. I watched all the fucking movies. Oh, I grew up on Starface, Goodfellas, the whole fucking nine. I thought that shit was dope. That's how I turned out like this. That's how I got all jacked and I looked like this. It's because I lived like a motherfucker the whole time. Oh. I don't you guys need to go. Did you see that thing crawl out? That's that, that thing. That's that thing. Hillary Clinton drinking her water. Remember they show that thing with weird ass shit. It landed on his lip. Ugh. And he 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 ate it. But he regurgitated that shit. Look at. And I look like this. It's because I lived like a mother. Ugh. Paused on it. Uh. Oh man, that's gross. Fucker the whole time. Uh, I don't ugh, do that half ass shit in life. So when I was a criminal, I wasn't half ass. Oh, yeah. These motherfuckers claiming they were someone in the pen and they get out and they're shitting and farting on their grandma's fucking couch huh. forever. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Freudian slip? You paroled to your grandma's house. I didn't. I don't think any of us, the rest of us on YouTube, are like, we didn't parole to grandma and live in, in the same room on a car with mom and dad. Uh oh. The man in the mirror? Anyways. I mean, when you get out, mm -hmm. a stepping stone is needed, but how fucking long are you gonna be there? And that's where the vice. I think you were there a year and a half? Something like that? Was it how long? How long was you, were you there? Because I did my um, transitional housing and then I, I got my own place. And I've had my own place since. Hmm. But I'm sure you're right about some somebody has to fit that criteria, right? Other than U.S. Prices <laughs> come into play. That's where the incorrect vision comes into play. Oh, oh All you motherfuckers out there, if you get out your way, you're gonna be propelling yourself forward so fucking quick. When I'm in my you way. Get out your way. When you listen to a. Hold on, eh? <clears throat> I'm out of my way, big dog. <laughs> Like the one I preach, or plenty of others. Like I've said, I ain't a good fucking speaker. I ain't some preacher. I ain't some great mind. We know. I'm a good listener. I listen to my conscience. I listen to my heart. I listen to myself. Is this heart in the stomach? Let's see. Is this heart in the stomach? Propelling yourself forward so fucking quick. When you get out your way. When you listen to a message like the one I preach, or plenty of others. Like I've said, I ain't a good fucking speaker. I ain't some preacher. I ain't some great mind. I'm a good listener. I listen to my conscience. I listen to my heart. I listen to my... This vato's stomach is his heart. Or his heart is his stomach. I, he confused me. Eh? Where are his kidneys? His feet? This vato's different. Wow. All right. <laughs> so, I listen to the universe telling me and guiding me, and then I make the correct decisions in the moment that aren't going to fucking land me back where the fuck I don't want to be. You guys don't know what that penitentiary life is like. Motherfuckers are getting blasted over a 50 paper. And guess what? If you're a dope fiend and you roll in, if you don't kick, if you don't kick, you're going to grab a paper, and you're, they're going to tell you it's all good. What? No, pay me when you want to pay me, big dog. You're all good. Shoot me a fucking canteen whenever you get it. Two weeks pass. What's up, motherfucker? Gonna be all up. Yeah, right. Yeah, because guys that are slinging dope in prison, they really just want to stab people. They don't, they don't really want to make money. We're going to end there. Wes is having seizures at this point. The, the, the lack of bullshit.
has just gotten a little too high for me. Did I say the lack? I don't even, this vato fucks my head up to where I can't even tell. The depth of the bullshit has gotten way too high. I got to go. You guys can watch him and see how this story ends. I think we all know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Today is West Watson Wednesday. I'm going to be putting this video out in a few minutes. If you want to see more, you got to leave ones in the, in the comment section, man. Um, I enjoy doing these. These are funny as fuck to me. I fucking laugh. You guys see I'm laughing. Hopefully you're laughing. A lot of times people tell me, man, I needed a laugh today. Well, you know, on Wednesdays, you got one coming as long as you guys want it. With that said, everybody, please be safe. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.